Welcome to another video guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. In my last video, I showed you guys how much it cost me to build my car the way that it is right here. But um, not everybody's gonna be able to afford uh, to do this to their car or find the parts to do it. So this video is gonna be for you, the ones who are more budget friendly. So if you're just starting modifying cars, this video could relate to you as well. But um, this is gonna be more geared towards the Lexus IS right here. And so as you guys see right here, my car is already fully modified. So I'm not gonna be able to start all over from um, a stock body, but I don't know, let's see what I can do. Let me set my camera up real quick and try to get this thing looking like OEM again. All right, so I got the camera set up right here. As you guys can see, the car is already all modified right there. So the first thing that we're gonna to have to do is bring the car back to stock. We got ourselves a bone stock 2018 Lexus IS 300 right here. So let's go ahead and get started with the project. So obviously I'm not gonna go buy a new Lexus IS for myself, especially when I just finished my project, but I have a friend who wanted me to modify her car for her. So what we're gonna do is keep this budget friendly as possible. I got a front lip ordered, um, the side skirts and the rears. Of course they are green, meaning that these are my old kit. But for this budget, I'll show you guys, or I'll tell you guys how much um, the, the front lip side skirts and the rear would be so that when you guys modify your guys' car, you guys have the right prices. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get started modifying this car. All right, before I start, I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what I'm gonna be doing to this car. So she got some, uh, some new daytime running lights that I'm gonna be installing for her, um, a, a front lip. Um, she's not gonna be lowering the car yet. Um, I'm not sure when she's gonna be doing that, but that's gonna be another day. Uh, she might be getting new wheels. I'm not too sure about that either, but we'll see. I'll talk her into getting some nice wheels or something. Um, yeah, the, the side skirt and the rear add-on. Uh, we have a carbon fiber spoiler that's ready to be installed on her car there. And then we have, I have my old Remark axle back that we're going to be installing there too. And I think that's uh, basically it for this budget build. It should be pretty budget friendly and it should change the, the way that the car looks like. And then the main thing that I'm going to be doing to this car, which is not going to be seen in this video, can't wait for the second video, but I'm going to be uh, passing with this car right here. Um, the color, you guys will have to wait and see what the color is going to be. But yep, the full lip kit, daytime running lights, um, a spoiler, uh, axle back, and then color change that's coming up. So let's go ahead and get this car um, up, get all these things installed, and budget build starts now. ones uh, these are not rgb ones but um they should be sequential um turn signal and they should have a startup animation so as you just saw i took off uh, one side the driver's side here and then i will compare it with the passenger side so you get to see before and after so, yeah i'll show you guys how they look like right here they should look on the same thing um the lens might be more white yeah so this is how the new one looks like and this is the old one so it's a little bit it's just like all clear this one's more white so i'm gonna get this plugged in show you guys how it looks like so when installing these ones uh, it comes with like a little harness right here so you're gonna take off this one right here i'm gonna plug the new one in Plug the old one into the harness pigtail here. That's it. And then um, this one, one of them. This one right here will go back down, down to the bumper area where the other harness will be waiting for it. All right. So again, this is the one that I have installed right here. This is the, the HC Motion one. Okay, if I to get out of the way. So there, I think it did have the starter motion, but let me get off the tripod here. So that's way brighter than OEM one over here. 
way brighter. I'm pretty sure that this, this is going to have like some light output as well, but yeah, it looks pretty good. Let me put you back on a tripod and see how it turns. I think that this return signal. So that's pretty cool. And the OEM one right here does not um, blink at all, but this one right here does. So that's pretty good. That's pretty cool right there. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side installed and then put the bumper back in. All right, so I got them uh, both installed and the bumper back on now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the light so you guys can see the startup animation on both sides. I'm not sure why they flash blue, but I'm glad that they don't stay that way. And then here's the left turn signal and the right. But hey guys, that's pretty pretty easy install. Um, so yeah, it looks pretty good, and pretty bright, better than OEM for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, install the front lip. Actually, I'm not gonna install the front lip because I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna dip the car anyway. So and I already, I think I already, I'm gonna just pre-drill it, I guess. But I need to peel off all the green off of whoops. Peel off all the green off of my old side skirts and my old rear. And then get those mounted up. As you guys saw, I got the spoiler installed here. I'm going to debadge it down here. Take off the S-port. Take off those ones over there. And take off the black plastic dip off that. I'm making pretty good progress on this budget build so far. Um, just a few more things to do. And then I should be done with what I want to do with this project. All right, good morning guys. Today's another day. I'm going to be installing the side skirts on the car as well as the rear add-ons over here. And I'm going to be installing the remark axle back onto the car too. But um, here's a little clip of how the stock exhaust sounds like. So you guys can compare that to the remark one. All right, so I got the parts all put onto the car right here. Uh, the front lip, the side skirts right here. Actually, let me turn the camera around for you. So yeah, so I got the side skirt installed. The rear valances right here. Spoiler, I got the trunk debadged. Got the remark exhaust on. And if you guys wanna have your guys' own budget build, it's not that expensive. For the whole lip kit, it was about $300. The spoiler was about 200. The remark, I sold her my old one for 275 on the daytime running lights. They were about 200, so for about under a thousand dollars, you guys can have you guys the exterior all done and uh, looking good. But uh, for the pasta dip, um, I was able to get a deal and get those for about 400 dollars. Stay tuned for that video where I will be dipping this car right here and changing up the color. But yeah, guys, for under 1400 dollars, you guys can go ahead and change up the look of your car, make it look way nicer. Obviously, the suspension and the wheels will be more expensive for you guys, um, depending on what you guys like. But for her, she didn't want to drop her car yet or get new wheels yet. But so, for fourteen hundred bucks, um, changing the way that the whole car looks, you can't beat it. You know, for the budget build for this Lexus right here. So yeah, if you guys are just starting out and want to get into the game, uh, yeah, just go ahead and just follow the stuff that I did in this video. I will leave the link in the description of the parts that I used if you guys want to make your cars look just like this. But I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to enjoy life and go slow.